don't forget we're giving away two copies of ea ufc 4 all you got to do is jump over to the video that's going to be linked up above hit that like button subscribe to our page leave a comment on that video tell us what kind of console you got when we get to 500 subscribers we're giving away two copies of ea ufc 4 so then we move on to the fifth fight of the night this is mallory martin versus hannah Schaefer's at 115 pounds. Mallory Martin is an American, six and three in MMA. She's five feet, four inches tall, has a 64 inch reach advantage, and she's 0-1 in the UFC, coming off of a second round rear naked choke to uh, Verna Janderoba. Mallory competed on Dana White's Contender Series where she ultimately won by decision, but she didn't get her contract. She went back and competed with Invicta where she went win and O before she was picked up by the UFC. Overall, she did have a record of two and one inside of the Invicta cage though. She trains in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Muay Thai, wrestling, and boxing. And interestingly enough, her boyfriend is UFC fighter Darren Wynn. You can expect to see aggressive takedown attempts out of her and a really good solid ground and pound. She likes to strike from every position, but she does have solid strikes on her feet as well. She throws nice and straight down the pipe. Hannah Cyphers is an American. She's 28 years old, 10 and six in MMA. Five feet one inches tall, has a 62 inch reach, and she's two and four inside of the UFC. She's currently on a three fight losing streak, losing to Mackenzie Dern and Maria Agapova by submission in the first round. And then she also lost by TKO to Angela Hill in the second round. She has a win over Pollyanna Vienna, who fights earlier in the night by split decision, and she has a win over Jody Esquibel by decision as well. She has great striking and is very skilled on the ground. She was able to shut down Pollyanna's jiu-jitsu game on the ground in their fight, and Pollyanna is a world champion in jiu-jitsu. Cyphers has three submission wins to her record, two knockout wins, and one decision win as well. Ultimately, though, my prediction is Mallory Martin wins by decision. I think that Mallory Martin is going to be a little bit too aggressive with her takedowns. She's going to be able to take her down and control her from there. I don't think that she'll be able to submit her from there, but I think that she'll be able to control her on the ground, land some ground and pound, and end up grinding out a decision. It's going to be a very wrestling-heavy fight, in my opinion.